Cree du Chat, also known as Cat Cry Syndrome, Chromosome 5P Negative Syndrome, 5P Deletion Syndrome, Monosomy 5P and 5P Minus Syndrome, is a genetic condition characterized by a wide range of symptoms. This patient will have a high-pitched cry that sounds similar to a cat, a low birth weight and very low growth, a small head, wide-set eyes, downward slant of the eyes, a small jaw, low-set ears that might also be malformed, skin tags just in front of the ear, partial webbing or fusion of fingers or toes, a single line in the palm of the hand, mental retardation, and slow or incomplete development of motor skills. About 75% of cases die within the first few months of life, and about 90% die before their first birthday, but survival to adulthood is possible. Cree du Chat is only fatal as a result of complications of symptoms in childhood. Many healthy patients are known to live well into adulthood. The oldest known patient lived to the age of 60. Cree du Chat syndrome occurs in 1 in 20,000 to 50,000 newborns and is slightly more common in females. There does not appear to be any geographical area in which this disease is more common. Cree du Chat affects all ethnic groups. In patients with Cree du Chat, all genes located on the short arm of chromosome 5 are affected, specifically the CTNND2 gene located on chromosome 5 is affected. This disease is caused by the deletion of many of the genes on the short arm of chromosome 5. The deletion that causes Cree du Chat is caused by a dominant trait. The CTNND2 gene, which is the primary gene affected in patients with Cree du Chat, usually makes the delta catenin protein. Delta catenin works in the nervous system to help cells stick together and helps this cell movement. In patients with Cree du Chat, the protein is no longer made because the gene is deleted. Cells, in this case nerve cells, are no longer able to adhere and cell-to-cell -cell communication is impossible, having large effects both mentally and physically. Because communication between the nerve cells is inhibited, the brain and muscles are also inhibited. The absence of this protein is suspected to cause the severe mental retardation and the physical disabilities of Cree du Chat patients. Besides the observation of the distinctive phenotypes of this disease, tests can be done to show that part of chromosome 5 is actually deleted. A simple karyotype of this patient's chromosome can assist in diagnosis when the deletion is fairly large. In cases when the deletion is smaller, fishing is used to detect specific genes that are missing on chromosome 5. There is increasing evidence that Cree du Chat can be diagnosed before birth using special sonogram technology at 20 weeks. Often, even in these earliest stages of development, Cree du Chat patients will be missing the nasal bone. However, many cases are still diagnosed at birth or shortly afterward as the earliest mental and physical milestones are not achieved. Most patients with Cree du Chat did not inherit their condition. About 10% of patients inherit an affected chromosome with a deleted segment from an unaffected parent. Females with Cree du Chat are fertile, but there is a 50% chance the same disease will affect her offspring. Patients with extreme cases of mental and physical disabilities are often unable to care for themselves. This requires constant living and medical assistance. Family members are required to devote both time and money to care for their loved ones. Support groups are often very helpful for family members, friends, and the patients themselves. There is currently no cure for Cree du Chat, but physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy are helpful for these patients. These treatments are not ever considered a cure, but they can go a long way in improving a patient's quality of life. Researchers in the study of human behavior are currently working to understand the aspects of behavior and psychology in patients with Cree du Chat. They are hoping that with a better understanding of their behavior and attitudes, therapies can better address their specific needs and hopefully lead to happier, more fulfilling lifestyles.